Hello, my candor crafters. I've recently taken up a brand new hobby, which is embroidery. I just wanted to document this milestone and encourage newbies like myself to just jump in there and go. So, if you're interested in watching me embroider a face of Drake, then keep watching. By the way, this is no way, no how a tutorial. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys um, how I did my very first embroidery project. So first up, I have to hoop my design. This hoop is only 4x4. Four four. That's the max that the Brother PE550D can, um, that's the max size it can embroider. So I have the hoop for that. I got some um, tearaway stabilizer i got this from amazon and then i just got some t-shirt fabric from joann's and i cut those into strips to make my life easier <laughs> the tearaway stabilizer is eight by eight inches and i first first i placed that down and then i put the t-shirt fabric over it the hoops has <laughs> the hoops have arrows so um you know how to align them um pretty easy um you can tighten and untighten it with the screw then just go ahead and uh stretch out your fabric um just to make sure it has no wrinkles in it but you don't want to do it too tight i feel like i did make mine a little bit too tight because my um, design is curved so I'm just gonna continue to work on that I can only get better practice makes perfect all right so this is my very very first time ever using an embroidery machine this is already this was already pre-owned so I'm praying that the bobbin in here is fine so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on there's a switch on the side i'm sorry my camera's in the way <laughs> so i can't move around freely but here she is the brother pe 550d this is the disney version obviously <laughs> um so this is touch screen And it's just telling you that this is going to move, so keep your hands and stuff away from it. So, what I do like about this machine already is I'm a newbie. So, I don't know how to thread anything, but it's okay because this is, you press this magic button right here. And it tells you how to thread, I think this is your bobbin, these are your bobbins something with the needle it's probably like how to change the needle um and i don't know what all this other stuff is but i'll figure that out later right now we're just trying to thread so it's telling me to make sure that my presser foot is up which it is already the needle lock okay oh it gotta be up okay so this button moves your needle up and down if you didn't see it let me see if i could do it again yeah okay so that moves your needle up and down so it has to be in the up position perfect three move this up and put my needle there i mean my thread okay uh -oh. all right And then I have to put the top on now. Okay. So, I know the top. So, it came with this little accessory bag um, with pretty much everything that you need to get started. I believe these are needles. Yeah, these are needles. I can't see. I need to focus. Let's focus on the wrong stuff. Okay. So, needle brush, some scissors more bobbins and the bobbin clips focus please don't mind my nails i need to get them done i know two screwdrivers I'm not exactly sure what they're used for but i'm pretty sure the machine will tell me and then this is what i'm looking for a bunch of other stuff that you need but 
This is what you got on the before. So this is the tops. These are the tops for the thread. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the medium one. Let's see how, how well that fits. Yeah, that's good. That's to keep the thread from moving when you embroider. My needle did thread. If y'all can see it. I don't know, y'all probably can't see it, but y'all just gonna have to take my word for it. So my needle did thread, you can see it. Um I was always wondering, I'm like, how do you know if the needle threaded? But you can see that the needle, the hole is down here and it went through the hole. Okay. So after I do that, and I'll lift my footer back up to that. And then And then we're going to pull my string down through. I'm probably making this much harder than it needs to be. Yeah, I it. Hey, that's life. It has to go down here. Yeah, it has to go down through here. You see? Okay. Boom. 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 Okay. Like I said, it's harder than it needs to be. I don't suggest starting this while you have nails. Okay, perfect. Boom. Down and around. Bring it around town. Okay, we lit. 15. I don't know if that's on or off. And we're lit. Okay. Alright, so our needle is started. I hope y'all know I am choosing a design that has one color because that was a lot. Practice makes perfect, but for my very first, I wasn't trying to do a multicolor. So. We're going to go back. Go back. I actually bought some designs off of Etsy. So, if you see my little USB cord right here, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and press the USB. And it's thinking about it. And, yes. Okay, so I just want to point out that this is the max hoop for this machine is 4x4 so if you have a design that is larger than 4x4 it will be grayed out I was sad because I really did want to do burning but it's all good I am going to do Trizzy Drake because why not so I'm going to choose him you can preview it that's what it's going to look like um, let me go ahead and put my hoop on is this up? Yes, this is up. Okay. Press. Oh, we can zoom in. Okay. 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 Boom. All right. Now set. You can move it, size it, rotate it. And then change the thread color. Yeah, we're just going to do black. Um. You can do the font edit. Okay, okay. I don't know what this is. I think this is for a pocket. Oh, I could change it. I could put it on my machine. So the machine has memory. So I could load this to the machine so I don't have to um, put my USB in for the design. That's lit. Okay. And edit. Alright. Looks good to me. And let's go to embroidery. Oh, this has two. Two stitches. Okay. But it's only going to take one minute, so I really don't know what it has to stitch. I might just skip that step. I ain't even going to hold y'all. We're going to see what it looks like. Um, 
And let's go ahead and get her started. I'll just go ahead and move this out the way. Um, I need to be up. Like, what is going on here? Be flat right here. So make sure everything is straight, nice and dandy. And okay, press this down and press start. So, uh oh, they stopped and said the bobbin thread is almost empty. I should have checked that before I started all this. I'm sick. All right, boom. So we back. Um, I already replaced the bobbin. Um, I actually had to um thread some. Um, that was a whole that was a whole lot of whole lot of in itself. So, I did not record that part, but I should have recorded myself putting it in, but the good thing about this machine, like I say, you can press this little button and it, so this was teaching me how to, um, wind it, which I did, follow that step by step, and then just putting it in, it was super easy, you press this button to, um, lock the needle. Um, you pull the footer up, take this part off, drop it in, and then you just feed it through this right here, and then literally cut it off, put the top back on, like it was so easy. Um, now I actually have to, I'm not going to read the red, I'm just going to, um, take this off. Because I had, like I said, I had to wind the bobbin, so I needed to use these first two. So, but I didn't listen, I ain't go too far now. So, where's this thing at? I'm gonna drop this baby right back in there. And I did use um, sewing 
thread because I definitely didn't have any um no bobbin thread, so I'm hoping it works. We gonna see. So one and two. One and two, and I'm hoping. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can roll this a little bit back up. I need to put my. T I feel like it's gonna get tangled if I try to do too much. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let go, let God. So let's go ahead and just put the top back on. Like I said, we're going to let go and we're going to let go. Hopefully you don't. Not. There we go. Alright. Let's put this baby back on under. It's still in the same place that it was in. So that's good. Just touch these two back on. And there it is. It is. And bam. Alright. Push it down. And let's go. Six and I be having some trouble. Okay, six. Okay, there we go. Now I'll start it. Out and under. Okay. Let's try this again. Bam, bam. Press it for down.
Okay. Let's roll this up. Let's see what it looks like. What the heck? There we go. So, this is what he looks like. Um, this is where I messed up at. Um, being lazy and not re-threading. So, yeah, it did kind of rip the, ma the material. Hold on. It did kind of rip the material. But, um, this is just t-shirt fabric that I got from Joanne, so... I'm not really um, tripping about that. Um, yeah, it was just for practice. So let me back you guys up. Again. And like I said, I did use, I did use um, just regular, regular sewing thread for the bobbin. And honestly, you cannot tell the difference. So yeah, it's really. It's lit. Like, you really can't tell the difference. Um, which one did I use? And I used Dollar Tree. I mean, not Dollar Tree, but Dollar. Family Dollar. I used Family Dollar thread for the bobbin. And, yeah, it came in a pack of three, actually. There we go. And start and let's zoom back in that's it you know what I'm not finna play with them that wasn't even a full minute that wasn't even a, what did they do that just made me upset I could have changed that I could have changed that to black you know what they tried me, but it's okay. It's okay. Did I cut? Did it cut the stitch? I think it did. Yeah. I did all that for three seconds. Three freaking seconds. So yeah, it literally just did a little dimple. I can't even see it. Hold on. Please focus. I don't even see it. Oh, it's over here. It's right there. I could have changed that to black, honestly, but whatever. So, I'm going to cut the threads. Yeah, I love these scissors because they're curved, so you rarely have to worry about cutting your cloth. Or your fabric, rather. Okay, oh, that actually looks pretty, pretty good. And then, see, you see that little bit right there? I cut it. Change the color to black, honestly. They tried me. They really did. But yes, like I said, for the bobbin thread, I definitely just use regular sewing. Sewing thread. I was so nervous because I was like, oh gosh, I have to run to the store and get some bobbin thread. But I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to use what I got. It is going to work or not going to work. And it worked. So, I know that I can use that. Honestly, I don't even know what the difference is. It. I looked at, like, the bobbin thread that um was in it and just compared it. Like, I could already tell, like, the regular embroidery thread, like, that was way too thick. So, the dollar 
the Family Dollar thread definitely won. So, I see people be lighting, just be lighting the thread and stuff. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And hopefully, don't buy nothing. Because I already gave, I already made his beard now connecting. So, <laughs> but I think overall it looks pretty good. Let's take it out there. Out of here, okay, yeah. there we go. Boom, Put it out of there. and this is just tear away um, stabilizer. So, I will link everything in the description, of course. Um, I got this off Amazon, and they are um, eight by eight sheets. Yeah, they're eight by eight sheets. So here he is. Jersey Drake himself. I got this file off of Etsy. And it came with a whole bunch of different drakes. But like I said, I wanted to do one color or the least amount of colors for my very first time. And I think I did pretty good for my first time. Like, I'm really proud of myself. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will definitely have more embroidery videos to come. I'm planning on buying another embroidery machine, I know, um, next week. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Until next time, my candle crafters.